Crunchwrap Supreme Pizza. We took your common ingredients, your bell peppers, your onions, your mushrooms, your pepperoni, and stuffed them piled high in a tortilla and folded it all up, and we got a special twist at the end. Parmesan crisp for that crunch factor. You guys want to see how we make this? Stay tuned. To get started, let's talk about what we're doing first and then we'll get into it. I've already done the prep work because it's extremely cold outside and I don't feel like chopping in the cold. All right, you can see that I've already done two ahead of time just to test them out. You guys can see that I made these perfectly with the indention of a mouth out of it. That's skill. You can't do that all the time. All right, the idea is when you make a crunch wrap, what is the crunch in the wrap? Okay, traditionally on a crunch wrap, it's um, like Mexican themed, it's got the corn tortilla. So if we're making a pizza version, then I thought, what could I do? Crisps, crisps. This is mozzarella, you guys can see the color and not much crisp, but it'll get you there. And this is Parmesan. I think it has a little bit more crisp to it and it's got a little bit more chew. Mm, man, that's good. The mozzarella is just a little bit easier to chew, but it doesn't have the crunch. So whichever one you decide to do, that's up to you. You're not gonna go wrong. Here is a rundown of ingredients. I'm just doing traditional Supreme. You can load it up with whatever you want to. We have pepperoni, banana peppers, black olives, green pepper, onion, and mushrooms. We have tortillas, we have the small kind, we have the large kind. We're doing low carb, we always do low carb, that's up to you. Here is a little bit of the oomph that I'm thinking, okay? Our griddle is on. I got this one set to medium and low and low. First things first, we need to get some prep work done. So while our griddle is heating up, I'm going to add some butter, about three cloves of finely chopped garlic, just a dash of uh, Italian herb, and a little bit of red pepper flake. That's how I like to have my pizza. So we're gonna figure out a way to put that in the pizza somehow, some way. In our next pot, we have just some, basically some store marinara sauce i'm just going to get that warmed up so it's not as cold it's about i don't know 10 degrees outside it feels like <laughs> so i don't want that on the crunch wrap all right i know there's a lot of hate out there about pre-packaged shredded cheese because all this and that but honestly this is the best way that we found it so the fresh just doesn't work near as well i don't know if it's the i don't know if it's the the grind or whatever it is but this seems to work out the best all right, so once your half a cup's out, I'm just gonna use this as a guide, okay? There's no oil down, it's just residual oil left over from last cook. Let's see, right there on the griddle. And then you're gonna move this around evenly as much as you can. Something like that, okay? Now, I wouldn't say thinner is better, but thinner is better. You don't want it too thin, but you don't want it too thick either. Okay. Half cup mozzarella. All right, you see what kind of color we're working with? You just want to peek under the hood a little bit and get that nice golden brown. That's what we're looking for. The mozzarella typically, yep, stays a hair ahead of it. So they're all ready to flip. So it's just like flipping a pancake or a tortilla. You want to get underneath it. Okay, just like that. There we go. You can see the butter right now frothing up. That's good. It's getting that garlic nice and tender, infusing all those flavors. So this is just about done. So I'm just gonna set this to the side and let all those flavors marry together. While those are going, I'm just going to knock the rawness off of the peppers and onions and mushrooms. I'm not looking to caramelize it or anything like that. I just wanna get that crunch off of it and just let them kind of steam and cook a little bit. All right, just throw some pepperonis down. I'm just kind of eyeballing it. You just want to get those toasted up nicely as well. All righty, I have a cooling rack on top of a sheet pan. 
When I do this, I'm gonna flip it over the other side. The top part is gonna be the cooler side. The bottom part is gonna be the hottest side. If you do it right now, it's gonna fall into your grooves. So you wanna be able to flip it over like that, okay? And just let those cool down. Like I said, I'm not looking to cook this stuff all the way through. I just want to get that freshness cooked out of it. I know that sounds crazy, but kind of like a, a tender crisp, I guess I should say. Pepperonis look good. I just got a paper towel wiping up that pepperoni grease. That is not the grease I want left over on the griddle. So, you know, we always are asked, what kind of oil do you use on your griddle? Well, you know, there's many steps to griddle cooking, seasoning the process of cooking, and then what you leave on your griddle. I would not recommend you leaving uh, pepperoni oil on your griddle. So get as much of it off as possible. You want a good oil on your griddle if you're gonna leave it. All right, we are ready to build. I got this inspiration uh, from somebody from the griddle group. So I just wanna reach out and say thank you very much. Uh, simple things like this pop up and we're like, holy cow, that just sounds great. We do have a pizza quesadilla that I think is incredible, but I think this might top it. So once I saw it on there and I think you send it to me once you saw it, I was like, yeah, that's, that's definitely doable. All right, I'm gonna build two of them, but I'm just gonna show you one of them. Maybe pizza sauce around the whole thing. And then just a little bit more touch right there in the middle where your center would go. Maybe, uh, I don't know, I'm just brainstorming here. Mozzarella right there in the middle. Stuff this joker full of uh, pepperonis. Now put your crisp on there, a little bit more marinara. And then because I needed a vegetable today, top that off. Hit it with some of those banana peppers. I love banana peppers and pizza. And the classic black olive. Italian sausage would be good. You can make a cheesesteak version. Ooh, cheesesteak crunch wrap. God, sounds this good. Looks good. All right, now we fold. One, two, three, four. Come on, baby. Five, six. Seven. Boy, that thing's messy. <laughs> it's a loaded pizza. Oh, yeah. Right there on the bottom. Oh, yeah. Look at that garlic-infused butter with all those herbs. A little red pepper. I'm going to take that kind of like fancy-dancy this thing up a little bit. Maybe get some Christmas on the outside. And I might hit it again when it's done. Look at all that garlic and herb inside that tortilla. Now, the one thing I did on this one, I did not do on this one. No, the one thing I did not do on this one, what I did on that one. I put uh, tomato sauce around the whole thing. Obviously, you can tell some of it leaked out. What I did on this one was I just kept it for the size of the circle. So the rest of the tortilla was plain. The sauce was about the size of the crisp, and then everything worked out better. Just to give you a little tip for tat. All right, brush it again, just because I feel like it's going to be luxurious. That way you don't feel like you've deprived yourself. Hey, we are doing low-carb tortillas. <laughs> and then, just to top it off. All right, here we go. Now that thing is loaded. Loaded. Fantastic. Mm. Mm. If you had a fire oven griddle, not a fire oven griddle, if you had like a wood fired pizza oven, mm. give it a little extra toast. Mm. 
Mm. Mm. Mm. Like guilt free pizza. Especially with the low carb tortillas. Hit the nail on the head. We play charades all the time, y'all. It's <laughs> exactly. That is phenomenal. Do you feel like you're missing pizza? I don't I don't like the thick crust anyways, but I would make this any Sunday when you girls order pizza. <laughs> This is you would good. have this instead? It is very good. I like this one step above the quesadilla. Yeah, it is. Give me another bite. <laughs> mm, mm. It is. It's super good. Mm. It's buttery. Mm -hmm. It's herby. Herby. Yeah, that butter and garlic you really get. It's really good. God, that's good. Mm. There is our inspiration from the Griddle Group on Facebook, where we talk about griddles, then we talk about smokers, and we get so much inspiration from you guys. I'm so glad we did it. This one absolutely rocks. If you guys are interested, hit that join button down below. It's a membership program. We thank each and every one of you for taking time for doing so. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button. Pound the notification button. Share it with your friends. Peace. Mm. If you don't take this inside real quick, it's going to freeze. I know. <laughs> that is good. Dang, that's good. That's good. That's a winner.